Hello and good morning, Hillview. Before we get into this episode of HVTV, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. It's Thursday, March 29th, 2018. I'm Max Gertner, and I'm on this episode of HVTV, we have a feature on power soccer and a skate shop. And ready or not, HVTV starts now. Jackson Garf, Jack Hansen, and myself found an inspirational sport called power soccer. Here's the story. I think the reason why I love this game so much is that I'm able to play a sport, a, a team sport. Uh, my name is Josh Berger, and I have a division called HL Lockheed Out Genesis Central Type 3. It is the rarest form of tour official. Uh, there's probably only a handful of people in the world with what I have. Uh, every bone of my body is uh, misshaped. All my joints are dislocated. The, the biggest struggle for me uh, growing up was just the, uh, I mean, I'm sure everybody said this, but you know, just, it goes without saying, the constant staring and uh, being judged uh, everywhere you go. Not just by kids, but, you know, some, some uh, adults stare at me. And, you know, when I was a kid, it, it, that's rough. That was really, really rough. And I didn't understand. I didn't realize that I was really any different than anybody else until I was about second grade. Uh, but you know, once I learned what I had and how to deal with it, I just I used it as an opportunity to to make people smile. I said, if they're staring at me, you know, do something about it. You know, smile, make them smile. You know, teach them, say hi, do whatever you can because you have an opportunity because someone's looking at you. You know. I only found out about power soccer uh, two years ago through the uh, GoPro um, GoPro video, and I, the GoPro team actually went to actually the team that I joined, and they did a documentary on it, which is so cool uh, because you know when you're in a wheelchair like myself, you can't play team sport. Uh, but then I found out about power soccer, and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get on this right now because I'm very competitive. I'm a 27 year old man. So, we all like to be very competitive, and I wanted to compete and help out the team. So the rules of the game is pretty uh, pretty simple. It's just like outdoor soccer, uh, except we play in wheelchairs, obviously. Um, and we play four on four, we got three attackers, one goalie, uh, and we play on a basketball court, a uh, regulated size basketball court. Um, we, we play with an oversized ball, a uh, regular ball is about 8 inches in diameter. Ours is 13 inches in diameter. So it's got to be able to take a beating, sometimes it's going to get smashed in between teachers. Um, I like to uh, tell people that it's like demolition derby meets soccer. Uh, power soccer has been awesome. It makes a difference in not only the lives of the players playing, but in my life. Being able to watch them grow as players, come out and play a sport that maybe they didn't know they could previously even play a sport, and now come out and call themselves an athlete. So it's awesome to watch people come out and sit on the sidelines their whole life, and now they're considering themselves to be an athlete and be a player just like anybody else. The feeling that I get from uh, the game of power soccer is pretty euphoric, really. I mean, I just. It's like when you're playing any sport, you're gonna have like this um, anxiety, like okay, you know, I want to get rolling, and you get a little nervous, especially before a big game. Uh, we we all get that same feeling, like when able-bodied people play. You're not old enough to have. It. When it comes to power soccer, what I'd like people without disabilities to recognize is that this isn't just like some nice thing that we're doing out here on a Saturday afternoon to waste our time. Power soccer is a sport just like any other sport. We're athletes just like any other athlete. And sometimes it takes us more focus and power to be able to play than an able-bodied athlete because we're having to focus on so many things in addition to our own bodies to be able to control a power wheelchair. So for people to recognize that it's a, an actual sport that people go out there and you know, more athletes just like anybody else.
Thanks Jackson and Jack for that help with that truly touching story. Do you know where to get the best skateboards in town? Well, here's Alec and Delaney with the story. Have you ever wanted to pick up a new hobby? Well, Society Skate Shop could be a great start for you. We asked Narbe how Society got started. My name is Narbe, I'm the store manager and slash owner for, for both shops, uh, San Carlos location as well as the new Palo Alto location. I've been working in this industry for a long time. I started out as a sales rep, then realized that, you know, I wanted to just kind of run my own ship, so I decided to come back home to Northern California and uh, open up the shop. Narbe can't run both shops on his own, so he hired Jake London to help him with the Palo Alto shop. I decided to work at Society because my whole life is skateboarding. It's been that way since I was 12 years old. I basically just wanted to do whatever I could to be around it as much as possible. There's way more skateboarders now than there used to be. I'd probably say a lot of that has to do with social media. So it's cool. I mean, now there's so many kids that rip. Uh, it's really cool to see the evolution of skating. Meet sponsored skater Jaden Brum. I've been skateboarding for a year. I like shopping at Society because they have all the parts for a skateboard, and they're nice. Being a sponsored skateboarder isn't easy. It takes a lot of perseverance. You may be surprised at how many different parts are on a skateboard. You start out, um, you pick your grip tape and your deck, lay the grip tape on, pick your trucks, we'll screw those on, and then uh, pick your wheels and bearings, pop those on the trucks, you're good to go. So if you are looking to pick up a fun and healthy way to bond with friends or just looking for some cool clothes, head down to Society Skate Shop. Reporting for HVTV, I'm Alec Tabal with photojournalist Delaney Ball. Thanks Alec and, that, and Delaney for that rolling story. Thanks for watching Hawks. Teachers, please stay tuned for a few special announcements.